Welcome everyone, this is Will KMAC Vintage coming to you with part 2 of the SC30 I'm doing some more work on it um, Don't know how much more I'll get done tonight because I'm getting a bit hungry But um, what I did manage to do was I got all of this stuff off of the old board SCSI port um, uh, Let me fix the zoom a little bit okay see what I got off uh, scuzzy port floppy port uh, this is keyboard this is serial printer keyboard audio this is a line filter this is also power connector main crystal speaker connector um, Button, a missing a button. Ah, some more down here. Another button, another crystal. This is the memory for the video. These are three resistor packs. These are two sound chips. Okay. So on this one, I we basically know where everything goes. The two memory chips for video go here. The two sound chips go here. Uh, the one crystal goes there, another goes here. Resistor pack, resistor pack, resistor pack. Floppy, scuzzy. We know what goes along the back. Oh, and I got this railing off too, but this is rusted, so I need to see if I can clean that up here. Sorry. You see. So I did manage to get just about everything off this board that I need to salvage. The only thing that is still on here now oh i do have these two loose i just i just need to drill out the actually rivet and then these two the 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 floppy and the scuzzy will come out so then what is left on this board um i need to take these chips off but all these go in sockets need to take off the cpu okay then these chips go in sockets but i i've ordered the sockets Okay, um, and then I have a bunch of ferret beads on the back. I need to move all of the L's. I need to move over. And then that's, I mean, that's not much else to do with this board. I mean, it's, 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 it's a process that's going very smooth, very smooth today. So, but for now, then let's, let's see what else we can put on this Let's see what we can. Oh, speak, um, let's see what else we can take off or move on to this board. Um, crystal. And let, let, let me switch views to the microscope. Oh, do I still have that on? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start putting some of these things on this board. Um, crystal, right there. But before that, I think I want to clean this a little bit. Okay, now how I look at the crystal, if you look at the drawing down here, that is square, round, round, round. When we look at the crystal, we see the same pattern. There we go. Let me see if I can hold it and put it down. Ah, it fell out. use the tools you have so I used the mat where are you crystal you're way up here okay 
Okay, one, two, three, four. My batteries on my microphone are getting weak. I need to. to change them blinking on me so let's get some of these things soldered I'll, I'll change the battery in a minute it's giving me a flash let's see what happens let's keep on going a bit more with it and see if I lose if I lose video or uh, if I lose audio uh, you don't have to hear me for a while Okay. Um, there is one ferret bead that came off that I want to put on this board now so I don't lose it because these are hard to get. So I have L20 that came off. Goes right here. Okay. Plenty goes right there. So I'm gonna solder that one on. Uh, I should not have done it that way. I can see the ferret bead, there it is. You do it this way if you're using hot air, but... I, I don't like how that's turning out, so let's start it over. All right, so I put some solder on my tip. So I do it the same way that I do the caps. Okay. That one is on. I didn't want to lose it. The other thing I want to put on from now to is this diode that's back here. Oh boy. I forgot to look. I think it's like this. So you can see that line there. Let me check on the other board. Yeah. So we do this the same way. These are two small things I don't want to lose. I do have new I do have new on, on this diode, I just don't have new on the ferret beads because you cannot get them new. Or you can't get these. They don't know the values or something. I don't know what the story is, but they say that these ferret beads you cannot get.
Okay. That's on there. Another thing I'm going to go ahead and put on now are these fuses. I got three new fuses that I'm going to put on. Since I'm doing these small little things, I might as well do them. So, I'm gonna put the solder there. You just really don't have no direction. I'm gonna come back and get the other side. I will flip the board around. So I got audio, yeah, so I got some audio. Need to turn it around a little bit anyway for me to do this one. Let's flip you around like this. I can come in. Let's see, what else do I have that I need to put on? Two capacitors from the back side came off, but I don't really need those, so I'm okay. Um, I want to do these last few sockets. Because that's something that's in my way. So... I'm going to move that over, that board. Let me change these batteries. Um, I'm going to pause the video and I'll be right back. All right, I've changed batteries, set up. I've prepped those other sockets that I had to cut. In the meantime, I did get a capacitor that I need to put here because I want to put that before, before I do the... before I put that um, before I put down the socket that is right here again positive is on this side this is a 4716 and I'm gonna give myself some room here okay And I'll come in left-handed. That way I don't have to switch everything around. 
me put that there. Okay. The other thing I want to go ahead and put in now too is that um, crystal. Because it's going to be right there in the way. So I can go ahead and solder this a little bit from the top. Then I'll go and do it from the bottom also. All right, let's go do it from the bottom. Where are you? You're right there. No. You're up. You're up there. It's not going to be in focus. I'm sorry. This is going to be a very quick solder. There we go. There we go. Okay. So we have the cap down, we have the crystal in. Now we can do this socket. Okay, and we start that off with some flux around the corners, well, on the pads. We get the socket, it is angled like this. And okay. I'm going to push down, I'll get these other legs. Now be careful you don't melt the plastic. The bad thing is I don't have any more of these sockets here with me. I just ordered them and sent them to Florida. Okay. And now I am going to turn it. And get you the view. I've taken off all that stuff off of the old board. I mean, I did it the quick way because I don't need to save that board. The quick way was using air and my manual solder sucker. I tell you, a lot of the stuff just dropped out, which was nice. Made it real easy. Okay. We have another socket to go. Let's do this one. You have it in view. Same thing again. Um... Okay, I'm presuming, yeah. That goes like this. So now, with you all seeing how these are done, I hope you're not afraid of doing PLC sockets, PLCC. 
They're not that hard. I mean, using the PLCs for these chips is like so much nicer because you don't, I mean, you know your solder is good because you can see it. You don't got to worry about hot air and alignment because you're, you've already done the alignment. And you've already done all the alignments. I don't like that big CPU socket that's sitting there, huh? Yeah, so I need to take out the CPU out of the old board. I can actually turn it more. I'm, I'm a lot further along than I thought. that piece of plastic where's my it didn't come out Get a little bit more solder. This one's almost done too. We're almost done with this socket. Okay, here we are, that one done. Now the last PLC, down here. All right, again, tapered end is down at the bottom. Look at that, look how easy that is. Look how beautiful that is. Okay, let's go on. So now, up in Florida, I have my Lisa. I am so stoked about that. I know it needs a lot of work. Because I didn't pay a hefty price for it. But then again, too, the person didn't want to make a lot. So, the, I know the I.O. board, hmm, see, you see how this one is a little bit off. But it's all right, it's still solder swing.
so I mean I have I bought some extra memory cards for it that were on that were on eBay. I bought reloaded boards for the IO board, for the CPU board, for the motherboard, um a couple different cards that are available. About all the parts that I need that I could find for me to make them. That way I don't really have to move much because I don't think I'm going to be able to unsolder too much from those older boards. But like all the resistors and capacitors and this and that and diodes and other things I bought new. I'm not going to, those are things I'm not going to transfer. The things that get transferred are things that you cannot get. Like the chips, certain chips. Okay, I think we're done. I think we're done soldering. Let's see what that message was. Because I messaged a friend about going. Okay, so we have all of them on. Let's see, what else can we do now? We can <coughs> um, uh, I need to fix some of that though first before I do that. I don't want to do that yet and uh, Shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Don't tell me I threw that out. No, there they are. Okay. That's what is scuzzy that I need to fix. Um, I don't want to do it. You know, it doesn't matter. It really, I don't have any much more low things to go in. Yeah, let's go ahead and secure this audio jack. There it is. Love how solder flows. Look at that. Okay, audio jack is on. We have this sucker to put on. Doesn't look like there's any orientation, so. Trying 
get a bit, bit better focus here, but... Oh, my eyes are getting tired. Oh, yes. My eyes are getting tired, so I don't know how much more of this I will do tonight. I need a bit more temp. Okay, I've got two other things I can put on. I can put on these two switches. Okay, let's go ahead and solder them. Right there's one. Oh, my my SC30 from England also got delivered today, so I'm happy with that. Other people want me to do transfers. I mean, I do them. They're not too expensive. Um, I charge 150 base fee. That includes the board. Um, and any components that I need to use will be extra. Last one I did came out to like 190 because I used some components. Um, the, the CPU socket is expensive, and this expansion port here is expensive. The other ones are not so bad. Um, I can do a ROM SIM for you, as a, as, or I can do the PLC sockets. Um, I do know how to program them now. I do have the image for the ROMs, so I can get you a stock ROM um, that will work. Um, oh, the other thing, too. These these resistor packs, these yellow resistor packs that go back here. Okay, um, they're not they're not the one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. They're not. They are actually eight. So I do have sockets I can use. Um, they're actually sixteen. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. So, okay, what's my friend tell me? Okay, because these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, these are the eight. And you can see the imprint on the on the board. Now I kind of screwed myself. I'm, I'm gonna have to do. Two pins like this. Okay, that's just to hold it. I mean, um, because I went and put in things that are higher. Now it won't sit flat on the bench. 
So just give me a second here. I'll be right back with camera view. Oh, that's hot. Okay. Yeah, that ferret bead is right back here, right back where when I was taking off the resistor pack, the heat took off the ferret bead. Okay. There we go. Alright, now let's go and solder all of these. Boy, my eyes are really getting tired. I'll try to give you as best focus as I can. There we go. What just happened? Oh, my iron went. Ah. Uh, so, looks like I can get down. I can, if I have all the parts, I can probably get these boards done in like ten hours. So yeah, um, I mean my base rate is one fifty. That includes the board. Then any components extra plus 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 shipping. Now normally I don't ship it from Grand Cayman because the international shipping is just crazy. Unless you want it, I mean, if you want to send it, if you want me to send it from Cayman directly to you, I can do it, but expect to pay eighty ninety dollars. Um. Uh, what I normally do is I um, take them up to Florida with me and I ship them from there. It'll be a lot cheaper for you. Um, now I do have a freight forwarder in Miami, but that's for cargo coming coming to me. Um, you can send me the stuff to Cayman. You pay, you, you pay to the freight forwarder, and then they'll assess the item also, and they'll add a fee to send it by air cargo, usually anywhere from 15 to $30. So you, you have to cover that too. Um, I will need some sort of invoice or letter from you that, uh, that states that this item has no commercial value. I did not pay for it. It's coming in for repair. And we'll be leaving again. And you put down an actually zero dollar value. But you have to state that I did not buy the item. And no funds were changed. Are people still shooting fireworks outside? Maybe a little bit out of focus because I pushed down on it and it went down a bit. Oh. Okay. Those are now in. What else can we do? Um, I can do the two serial ports.
Uh, hold on, I need to straighten up the pins. Uh, okay, let's go straighten up these pins. How I normally do it is with my tweezers. I just straighten them up like this. Let's see what that's my friend about going to eat. He has not answered me. And that one is good. Let's get the other cereal. Gotta get them both in. Okay, I have them up here. I'm just trying to secure it, so give me a second here. Okay. You can see why on these small pins I like to do. Why I solder things a certain way. I'll get back to that one in a minute. I just need to get this one secured and and cool down so that this doesn't move. Okay. So yeah, about the shipping, I mean, um, it's just, I don't want to pay duty on the item when it gets here, you see, um, because normally I have to pay import duty, 
on anything that you sent in if it's got a value if i if i bought it if i paid for it for, if i paid for it it will have a dollar value and i can be charged for that so okay let's straighten up these keyboard ones also we can put them in where are my tweezers now So you see by me using using as much parts from a board from your board as say but the sockets I mean I'm not gonna I mean the CPU socket well yeah if you don't want that then fine I can do I can do it without but then you're stuck with a board that and you can't change the CPU later if you if you need to um, So, um, the other expansion port in that, I'm not going to take off the old ones, okay? The Sims, I'm not going to take them off because a lot of them are plastic. And, um, and, this, and well, the SE Sim socket for the ROM and the memory, um, those seem to always get destroyed when you're taking them off. Um, So I, I I don't Mikey don't play that game. It's it's a lot of the a lot of the sim sockets have the have the plastic tabs. Mine have the metal, although they're single. And you gotta be careful putting them in. Still I I I prefer to put in new ones. Okay, the same thing with the PLCs. The PLCs make it a lot easier. Later on, if you have a chip that goes bad, you can just pop it out and put in a new one. I mean, that's amazing to be able to do that. We can see how well this goes. Okay, those are on. Um, power connector, and I put that on. Oh geez, on that other board he took it off too. Something like this. But that's my friend about going out to eat. I'm gonna
this. I'm gonna do this look like they. Okay, so let's order that in because some of those look lower than the others. Did they move? Yeah, they moved. Uh, boy, I need something to push that thing in. Looks like that. No, it looks like that's how it is. All right, you see that little indention there you see that little notch there on the adapter there's a notch here you see it so that's gonna go there You see that location, L11 right there? Right there, that's a ferret bead, it's gonna go right there. All right, so where else am I now? Um, I'm not going to do capacitors yet. I need to do, I can do this front crystal, these two, di these two diodes up here. But I, I need to find out what values those are. Right there. I need to look at the schematic to find them. But let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, schematics. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna. I have to open up the schematics for this. Uh, SE thirty schematic redrawn. Okay, let's see where I'm going to find this. Where am I going to find these diodes? Do, 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 not on this page. Uh, C49, boo, 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 no, not there. Of course, this diode, this one here, may not tell me. I'm not there. Aha, right here. Oh, no, that's capacitor, capacitor. Where's the other crystal? Yeah, this is the real time clock. Mm 
but that's coming off the battery. Right here, D1. D1 and D2 is one N914, one N914. Okay, I know, I know I have those. All right, let me pause this. Let me to find them. I'll be right back. Got my two diodes here. So let's go ahead and put them down. Again, I put a little bit of solder on my tip after cleaning it. Let's get the first diode. You see what I'm doing here. Okay. Second diode, it's up here. Oh, shoot. Where did that fly now? Damn it. Probably fell on the ground somewhere. Uh, those little suckers. I've had them fall in my lap and I find them. Not so lucky with this one. Let me check on the board. Maybe it's somewhere on the board. Nah. Let me get another one. Uh, I mean, the one that I buy here, 20 anyway. But I have more in my other book also. These are very common. And they're the 914 diode. 1N914. They say 5D on them. Watch, as soon as I solder this one down, I'll find it. Okay. Those two are down. The other thing I have too already is the crystal that I need to go right here. There, there it is right there. Y1, the schematic says, is a 32768, and here 32768. Okay, so there's really no care about which way this goes. I pre-bent it. All right, I'm going to put some solder from the top. Then I'll go put some solder on the bottom.
them back up because it's easier to cut. All right, so let's see what else we can do. Socket I don't have. I can put in battery thing. No, I have them. Uh, I think they're in this one. This again, I'm going to do with my hand. Reason for that is just so that it will stay put. All right now, let's see, where are we? There's the battery. Yeah, you can see that. Let me focus it a little bit. Wrong way. There we go. Uh, do, 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 do. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to my Lisa to work on them. I actually got two of them for the price of one. Well, well, well below the price of one. But Jake... Jake wants one, so he's going to buy that one off of me, but I still got to fix the boards for him. Because they are in bad shape, I tell you. I mean, real bad. Okay, so where else are we on this board? Capacitors are there. Where I'm at now is scuzzy and floppy. So... I'm going to pause this video for a few minutes. I'm going to fix the, the actually floppy port. All right, so I'm back, and I have fixed the SCSI and the floppy ports. I have adjusted these pins, aligned them up, straightened them up. So this is ready to go on here. And it should go straight in because I had it in earlier. So let's go ahead and solder that on. Where are you? Right here. Uh, okay. Boy, I tell you, if I probably had all the parts, I could probably finish this tonight. I mean, that would be amazing. The speed in being able to do a reloaded. Would be just amazing. All right, let's drop in the SCSI now. That's in. This one, though, I'm going to get one pin over here. Okay. Come over here and get one and then push it up. Okay. 
and my friend doesn't seem to be answering me back about going to eat, and I'm hungry. So I may have to go do my own thing. Lots of pins here with this one. What is Guzzy? 50 pin? Yeah. And what I also have, along with my Apple, with my Lisa cards that I've purchased, the PCBs, I have a bunch of my own PCB designs, well, mine and Jake's some projects that we're working on, Apple III memory adapters, um, testing devices, you see me, I'm leaving, I'm skipping some of them for a reason. Mm, they they moved on me. Yeah, they're gonna have to go the way they are. That one there, though, I need to push down some more. It's, it's just way too short. One, two, three, four, five, six. The sixth one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. felt that one snap in place that should be good now yeah you see now I have enough now the board looks very dirty this will clean up nicely okay All right, what do I have left? The two connectors back here, but I need to take those off of the old board. I have not drilled out the rivets yet. These two, the floppy and the scuzzy. I have caps I need to do. I have the expansion port here. I have the SIM socket and the RAM sockets, but those will come later. I'm hungry. Your Amazon quarter has shipped. Great. 
Uh, my friend's not telling me, and I'm hungry. I want to go get some food. I'll be, I'm going to pause this. I'll be back. Okay, guys? All right, folks, I'm back. I had a little bit of dinner. Not too much. I didn't go anywhere. I just had something here at home. So um, I have taken off the two ports um, off of the old board. So now I need to anchor. I need to secure it on there. I don't have the right rivets right now, so tomorrow I gotta go buy the right size rivets for me to put back in there. So for now, I'm just gonna solder it back on. Boy, my eyes getting tired. Got that one secured. Now let's get this other one in. Oh shoot, I don't want to melt my flux. Two actually tubes ago I, I I accidentally melted the tube a little bit and had to tape it up to get it not to Okay, what pin is bent now? Alright, what pin is messed up? Ah, oh, there you are. Alright, let me straighten up that pin. So once I rivet these in, they'll stay in good and strong. All right, there we go. Got it in finally. Okay, same thing here. I'm going to do this off camera. It's a bit easier. Okay, now I can come and solder the rest of them. That I'll do on camera. This is the SCSI. Okay, you got a good view there. Oh, I can't believe how much of this board I got done today. bad part is I can't test this board until I get back from Florida. 
I might actually take it up to Florida with me and well I, I don't have a machine there to test it. I have a classic. Now we go straight to the floppy. Let me fix that last one too. And the first one. So I'm um, looking forward to the trip. I got some nice new things that I needed. Amazon is shipping them today, uh, yesterday. A lot of my usual stuff again, wick, flux, solder. But now I got a solder dispenser holder that holds the bigger rolls. Okay, so those are now on there. Can't do the metal bracket yet because I have to. I have to prepare that. Um, so rivets, a rivets gotta go in. Need a rivet there, 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 and there. <coughs> Okay, um, all right, let's get some of these other things that need to go in. Um, Where are my 72 pin sims? Uh, they're over here. Up here we have the sim. That goes in right there. Again, I'm going to secure this somewhat off camera. This time I'm going to use three points. Okay, that's not going to go nowhere. That's secured good. I got the expansion port. I want to make sure I do that one correctly. Let me look at the other board. 
Where did I put the other board now? Uh, well, I can look at the old one here and see. Yeah, that's incorrect. That too, I'm gonna do some solder points off camera. Basically, I'm just holding it in my hand. I'm putting down some flux on some pins. Then I hold the board and the device in my hand. And I put some solder on my iron. And then I just touch it on the pin, and that is just to hold it. Dude, I need to get my airline ticket back. Okay, so those are now secure too. Now I can solder those in. Let me start with the SIM. Okay, and your view. Yeah, you got good focus there. This is the ROM sim. I need to go buy a new suitcase too because one of mine broke. Not worth fixing. The zipper and it's, it's getting old too already. But I like the hard shell. Well, somewhat hard. Uh, when he's reloaded, pretty fun. I like it. I like seeing taking a broken item, stripping it, putting it onto a new one, and seeing it come alive. I want to get the classic reloaded boards also. Okay, so the sim is done. Uh, now this one. Oh boy.
a lot of soldering. Now, I don't know if Ron will want this board because it really doesn't have anything on it from his his board. I need to ask him. But I can't send it to him anyway now because I need those sockets to test it. And I don't have a machine in Florida to test it with. Boy, I'm about halfway, and that's it. I hope to get the screen tomorrow for that MacBook Pro Air I gotta do. Well, no, it's not even an Air, it's a MacBook Pro. Um... Thirteen inch, fourteen inch. It's an M one. I only have a desktop as an M one. My my laptop is still an Intel. I bought it a little while before the M ones came out, but you know what? I don't need much more power. I don't even got time to set up myself better. I need to. I want to set up myself better, but. Okay, that's all soldered. Uh, now I got memory to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Caps. Got the old chips to take out. I need to take the CPU out. That one I have not taken out yet. So this is coming along very well, very, very, very well. So, um, let me see if I can find it quick. I can have one sitting right here somewhere easily where I can get to it. No, that's not it. That's it. That's not it. That's not it. I even have a SE30 cap kit. I don't have. I've been doing those on the fly.
I'd have been making those myself. I think I've been pulling those and making them myself. Do I have an SE30 cap kit here? Alright, this is the cap kit of a 2VX and VI. I don't have many of them. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I I know it's got, it's got ten, forty-seven, sixteens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I already put seven on there. Um, got one, one UF. That I can pull out of my kit. And what are what are these? Uh, wrong side these are this are the 220 by 25 I know I need a 220 by 16 so I can use one of these yeah I can use most of this kit One of the radio, one one of the actuals. Use all six of those forty sevens. I can put this away. Two twenty by sixteen. Oh, that's very that's very full. And then I need a forty seven sixteen. Four seventy sixteen, let's see. Four seventy sixteen. And I need three more forty sevens. And I'm running low on forty sevens. Well, we'll put those right over there. Need a one, one by fifth, one one by fifty. I have just one. That goes where? That goes back here. Okay. The four seventy is by the sound. The other one is by the. All right, let's get some of these caps down. That one goes right here.
by 10 p.m. bedtime. Okay. We'll come in left-handed. Now I got these 347s here by the power adapter. So I'm here with my left hand. Let's go ahead and put these down. Okay. Next one. last one then I'll come with my right hand and do the do the other side okay. One, two, three. The more I'm going to go buy some rivets smaller than one eighth. Three, okay. Those are on. Let me do these two actual. The 470 goes, yeah, the 470 goes by the audio stuff. this one this one there's a certain way I want to put it on so I'm gonna put it on where it's more away from the plug reason for that is because of the power adapter that I use for me to test them outside of the case Let's go solder those on the back side. See where the one is right there. I'll pull that up in a minute.
Okay. And now we have the other one right there. Oh, that, that did hot. I'm going to let that cool off a little bit, then I'll... All right, let's do our snip snip. Boy, I do so many caps on these things, it's know them by heart. Okay. So I have two 47s that are going to go right here, one, two, and two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, oh, six, I have another one there too. Yeah, I see he didn't put a label on that. Bruce, you need to you need to add a label to it. All right, so let's put on these two. We have one that goes there. Got one that goes here. Okay. I already got the flux down. I do the top one first. Positive is what direction positive is. That way to my right. To the chip socket. Okay, there we go. Let's come in left handed now. Okay, I think I may have enough on here to do the other one too. No. There we go. The other one is done too now. Sorry, you were out of view. Okay, so all those are done. Now I have this one up here. Positive is also towards the capacitor. So let's go ahead and get that. We put a little bit more solder. Since I'm still with it in my left hand, we'll do the left side first. Okay, switch hands. Okay. Next capacitor is over here. It's also positive. Right, there we go.
Wait. Switch hands. Left side. There we go. Next two are up in front. Turn the board. Next one is right there by the clock. Well, by the battery holder. So, clock. Well, yeah, the RTC chip is there too, so. Speaking of RTC, where did I put it? Oh my, where did I put my RTC chip? Oh boy. I took that off a long time ago. I didn't fall off the bench and get squished somewhere. Oh boy. I don't see it up here. Oh boy. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Maybe it went underneath the microscope. Sometimes they do that. Uh. Right, since I'm still with my left hand, uh oh, you all saw what I just did. Gotta find that RTC chip. It's not in the stack with my other chips. Okay, that one done. It was up here. All right, last cap way over here. the cap now I'm worried about that RTC it's not on the board oh boy and I hope it's not on the ground where I've been rolling over it and It is on the ground. I hope it's under the bench or something. And okay. See, it's not over here in this bunch. I hope I didn't throw it out. Gotta go through that garbage. Oh boy, now I'm now I'm all paranoid. I'll see it on the ground. 
Maybe I got caught in with some of my other stuff that I was moving around. Not here, not there with that. Oh boy. Let me see if it went under the microscope. Um... Nope. Not in my chair anywhere. Hmm. I wonder if that got picked up with some of the other things I was bringing up and down the. Oh boy. I really need that RTC. Okay, now let's see. Where are we now? I know the RTC is going to be driving me nuts, but... Um, We can put I can put the audio thing on. The direction that has to be. Okay, like that. Need to check that garbage good, make sure I didn't put that RTC in there. Okay, it has to go on like this. Okay, the audio jack. Let's get you on there. Okay, so the audio plug is on there. All the rest of these are chips. Um, I need to straighten up their legs and that, so let's go ahead and take care of some of that. Um, I'm going to go back to scope view. Alright, so we are back here. This is, boy, I can't believe how much of this board I got done. We are back here with this guy. Okay, this really doesn't have any direction as far as I know. It's neutral. Okay, so but what I do want to do is clean off some of these legs because that's what just happened.
the solder on them and it's too thick present pre preventing it from going in good all right there we go that's in good okay let's look at these three yellow ones these resistor packs um straighten up legs i'm gonna zoom this in a bit more to get it a bit lower for me to be easier for me to see and one by the way i tried to buy one of the chip leg devices to straighten up from amazon and they're not available they've all been sold out and they don't know when they're gonna get them well I was unable to order one. Okay, now let's make sure all these are the same. I think they are. If not, I'm screwed. So far, we're the same. Yeah. Okay, so these go back here. Man, where is my RTC? It was up here. I bet you I threw it away. All right, right here we have one that is going to go in. There we go. And these are short legs. I hope I hope they make contact. Okay, where am I not going in? Okay, there. Last one. Okay, so those three are all in. We have four more chips. We got a two large video RAM, the two smaller Sony audio chips, and these are short legs. This is what gave me problems last time. Then I had to change the socket. 
They're all nice and straight that way. This side's nice and straight. Let's go ahead and put one of these in and let's see. I'm afraid of the legs being too short. Right there. Yeah. Well, that one went in quite a bit better. Okay, let's put in this next one. That goes right here. We're in good. All right, the two video memory. Let's put these in. Okay, <clears throat> I think I've done everything I can. The only thing left now is I want to I want to put in these eight sim sockets, but before I do that, I need to. Where are my other? Looking for my sim sockets. I thought I still had some left over. Yeah, here they are. One, two, three, four, five. I uh, I know. One, two, three, four, five. And the other ones are in this big box here.
These look stronger. Yes, I have 300 of them. Yeah, these look better. All right, this board's going to get all new with the better ones. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have 292 left. Plus the five from the other stuff. Oh. Okay, but I can't solder them all at one time, so. Mm. I'm pissed about that clock, that chip. All right, let's solder one point and then we'll push it up, secure it. I think it's in all the way. It's in good. Hmm. And this side too is in good. Okay, so now let's get the other 28 in between. And I wish I had those sockets, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do the chips on directly to the board. Okay, so one is in. Looks great. Good. Good. Well, let me put them all in and tack them. That way, then I can just stay on one side and solder away.
Okay. These are nice and strong. These are a lot better than the previous ones I had. And the funny thing was, I bought them from the same people. See if I'm gonna go through eight of them every pop. Okay, the last one. Okay, there we go. All right, now I can just solder away. So, so that I don't bore y'all, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to solder these and then I'll come back. All right, folks, I'll come back. So, what's missing on this board still? What's still left? I still got to take out the CPU from this old board. Um, right here. That's the only thing I still got to take off of this board. I need to get these out. These are the... Well, I, I need to take these off and, and get these out, but I don't have the sockets for these yet. Um, this I'm going to leave. These are the plastic ones. I don't like them. Um this bad bombed i still gotta move the l the l the actually ferret beads but this is where we're at with the new one okay so the only thing that's left is the socket for the video rom and the video rom itself i have to program one i don't have one uh take the cpu off of this board and put in here then i need the sockets for these five PAL chips and then move them over. These other chips will go into these sockets. But before I do that, I'm gonna I'm gonna ultrasonic clean this and get everything good. Then I'll put then I'll put these in. Um, these are all these are all soldered now. The person that I bought this old board from did send me a ROM, and that should go in here now without any problem. there yeah it's it is clipped in um looks like some of these are a bit raised so he did send me a rom then on the memory these should go in nice and good oh yes these are much nicer sim sockets Very good same sockets. Very nicely done. So so this board is just about done. The only thing I gotta still is find what the hell I did with that RTC chip. I think it's the garbage. I'm gonna take apart my garbage now. Um and these little things and so tomorrow I will because I I'm tired now. It's ten o'clock. It's past ten o'clock here, ten forty five. I'm tired. Um this board has taken me a total of uh three hours earlier. Another two, five five and a half five hours five and a half hours so not bad for just starting this a day and already being this far along um imagine when i get the sockets for these other for these other chips and these other ones it will just <laughs> i mean you saw how much easier it was to do the sockets you saw how much easier it was to solder those sockets and to solder all all these chips and all these plcc chips um so that's why I try to solder. I try to sock it as much as I can. Um, it, it's just a lot quicker for me, a lot easier. These here I cannot sock sock it. But anyway, folks, I'm tired. Been a long day, long sessions. Um, 
so and I still gotta go and dig through my garbage and find my RTC chip. I can't believe I, I can't find that chip. Um, if it's not there, then it got moved into one of my boxes of of components. So anyway, um, sorry, this is kind of long and dragging out, but um, it is what it is. It, this is how I make these. Um, I know it's the third time that I'm documenting this, but I like to have it. I mean, I, I like to video it anyway, so I'm, I might as well put it out there. Um, if you get bored of them, you don't have to watch it. I mean, that is that is your choice, but um, for me, I still like to put it out there, and I like to have the conversation. Um, I, I'm probably going to try to do, like, once or twice a week, I'm going to try to do live sessions at night, because it seems that certain people, um, certain nights are not busy. So I may pick up one of those nights or two of those nights and do some videos there. So anyway, you can see I'm tired. Anyway, thanks, folks. Have a, and um, catch you all on the next video. All righty. Bye-bye.